Did you have a good Halloween, Joey? You did? Awesome. Did you have a good Halloween? Did you have a good Halloween? Okay. Now let's get started with our first game of the week, which is Sean versus Chris. Now, as we all remember, Chris is the only person to defeat Kyle, <laughs> and he was going up against Sean, the second most powerful team in the league. However, Sean this week is actually going to eke out the win 131 to 125, as Sean will now improve to 6-2, and, and Chris will fall to 3-5. and five. Next up, it's Alexa versus Kelly. Now, Alexa and Kelly are both struggling right now. It looks like Kelly's five game losing streak is finally gonna come to an end as she beats Alexa 161 to 102. Alexa falls to two and six, Kelly rises to three and five. Next up, it's William versus Kyle. Now, William was looking pretty good coming into the match. However, thanks to some late plays from Kansas City, Kyle's going to eke out this victory 121 to 108, meaning Kyle will now move up to 7-1 and, and William will fall to 4-4. Four four. Next up in the Battle of the Davids, Uncle David scorches David badly as he is going to continue his hot streak and get his fourth straight win of the season, beating David 177 to 127. Uncle David moves up to 4-4 four and, four and David will fall to 4-4. Four and four. Good for you, Uncle David. And our last game of the week is an upset, actually. It's Caitlyn versus Justin. Now, coming into this, Justin was clear favorite, but Caitlyn is actually going to be the one who takes the win this week, upsetting Justin. Caitlyn beats Justin 136 to 111, meaning now Caitlyn will move up to 3 and 5, and Justin will fall to 4 and 4. Now, a word from this week's sponsor, Cats. Do you want something that'll love you unconditionally, but also not give a single fuck about you? Then I recommend cats. Cats. For when you want something to love you unconditionally, but also hate you at the same time. Now let's go ahead and look ahead to week five. We'll start off with Chris versus Justin. Now, both teams kind of in the middle. Chris three and five, Justin four and four. Both teams looking to make a splash and get ahead a little bit in the rankings for playoff contention. Good luck, gentlemen. Next up, we have the 6-2 Sean versus the 3-5 Kelly. Sean looking to get some more wins on his belt, so that way Kyle doesn't have such an easy road to a bye week in the playoffs, and Kelly looking just to qualify for the playoffs. Good luck. Then we have the 3-5 Caitlyn, hot off a win against Justin versus the 4-4 four four William, uh, hot off a loss to Kyle. Good luck. Speaking of Kyle, we have Kyle at 7-1 versus David at 4-4. Four four. Now, I shouldn't do predictions ahead of the week, but it's pretty safe to say that Kyle's got this one, considering David's star player Derek Henry is out for 6-10 to 10 weeks. I'd say good luck, but with Rob Gronkowski and Dak Prescott and a few others just piling up the injuries, it's almost safe to say that David's season is done. And the last matchup is Alexa at 2-6 versus Uncle David at 4-4. Four four. Uncle David on a hot streak. Alexa would love nothing more than to win a game and end his hot streak. So, we'll see. Good luck. All right, that's going to wrap up week eight. So, things to keep in mind. Following teams are on bye week. Also, again, check free agency. And for everyone except for David, you still have a shot to make it to the playoffs. So remember, keep playing, keep doing your best, and keep picking your lineups. David, I'm sorry, you're fucked. With Derrick Henry gone, you have no chance of winning anything. Sayonara, bro. Alright, so that's going to do for week 8. Everybody, I wish you the best of luck. Live long and prosper. You have a good Halloween?